Okay guys, it's back. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so on the silty shores of the Tanana, we are going to be revisiting one of my favorite knives, aside from the CRK Pacific, and that is the much awesome, much beloved Buck Thug. Now this thing is no longer made, but there are still many out there because this knife never really caught on and I'm not really sure why because this is such an awesome knife other than the fact that Buck never really talked about this knife and really never talked about how just plainly awesome this knife is and was. So without any further ado, today we're going to be taking a look at it and actually primarily talking about the few mods I did to it to make it a really great knife. So if you end up with a Buck Thug, this is what I did to it to make it even better than it already was. If we're being strictly honest, this knife really doesn't have too much that you can do to it because of its already apparent or inherent awesomeness. So the first thing I really did to this knife is, and really the only physical main modification to it, is I did take down this nub. Now this is really fast to do with the Dremel, as you guys can kind of see there. Uh, I don't really like this nub, and the thing that did really bother me about this knife is how sharp they made this and it actually kind of dug into you so if your hand fell out of line with where that little nub was and you just so happened to ride on it when you were chopping especially if you were chopping but even if you were just holding it like this or like this and that nub really wore on you it would get extremely uncomfortable so all I did was I didn't fully take it away though I'm sure you could do that too all I did was I just took uh, a dress and just really knocked the sharp edge off of it and rounded it out so that it's really round and really smooth to the touch. So now it's very unobtrusive and if my fingers do happen to sit on it for any length of time it actually really doesn't matter much because of how comfortable it is. So that's the first mod I did to it. Now we're going to break open these handle scales here and I'm going to show you guys what the other mod I did to it is. While silt blows everywhere and proceeds to get stuff very dirty, I'm going to show you guys really quickly the modifications I made to the inside of the handles. That is actually the inside of the handle, but anyways, so there's not much room in these handles. I will say they did a pretty good job of keeping a lot of the thickness of the steel here. However, they did remove enough steel that if you're careful and you actually remove both of these handles to install it, you can actually fit about four feet of paracord, and this is not gutted paracord, you guys can see there and also a ferro rod fits in there neatly just like that so the two mods that i made for this were that i reduced this and that i actually was able to jam pack just a couple survival goodies right in the handle now a lot of people may argue about handle uh, survival kits and stuff but the thing i like about this knife is the scales are held on just by these really simple uh, Phillips heads. So it would not be impossible or even hard to fashion a piece of wood to find a dime or a penny or something that would fit easily within these little um, notches and just unscrew it. So that's why I do argue that this is actually a righteous mod and not something that would just be better forsaken. So anyways, guys, that is the two mods I did to the Buck Thug to make it, in my opinion, a more usable knife. Now this thing is already incredibly usable and it's one of my favorite backup knives if I don't want to use the CRK Pacific or if I'm actually going somewhere where it's dry enough to use it. My biggest dislike about this knife is the fact that 5160 is very very easily corrodible so it gets rust on it very easily as you guys can kind of see on the little bit of exposed blade here. It is pretty much all at least patina. That is the biggest disadvantage to it. Anyways guys, that hopefully you've enjoyed this quick little video about this mod and see you next time.